Hey Han, I'm Chloe and this is the Juliet Spin Tutorial. My mission is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the 31st video of the Beginner Pole Trick Tutorial Series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly recommend you to start from the very first video of this playlist as the tricks will be a progression of the video before. The Juliet spin is a very, very pretty spin. It is one of my all-time favorite tricks and I hope you'll like it too. This trick tutorial is mirrored for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red wristband on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do get confused of the directions. This trick tutorial is created for you for informational and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek help or spotting when necessary. For any medical concerns, please make sure to seek professional medical advice. Please also you make sure you warm up your body before you start this trick tutorial. I have a warm up playlist depending on your level under the playlist warm up so you can try that before you do the trick. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more of these kinds of videos and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet so that you are notified every single time I upload a video. If you're looking to further your pole journey and learning tricks and dance together, then consider learning on my online learning platform, Pole Art Vault, where we put tricks and dance together into a combo and learning an entire routine with combos and dance together. You can find the link in the description below for further information. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into the Juliet Spin tutorial. Alrighty, let's get into our conditioning. For our conditioning today, this is our off pole conditioning, we are going to try a twisted shoulder shrug. So, oh, that's a bit of a tongue twister, shoulder shrug. All right, so we are standing on both of our feet, nice and tall. Now from here, you're going to bring your hands forward so that your thumbs are facing both up. Now from here, you're going to start twisting your palm away so that your pinky is facing up and then make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart. Now from here, you're going to keep bringing it all the way up and keep your hands all the way twisted. Keep your palm facing away as much as you can and then we're going to shrug our shoulders down. So when you're shrugging your shoulders down, you're thinking about bringing your shoulder down from almost your lats here. So try doing these shoulder shrugs first and then once you're comfortable with that, then you can turn your palm away and then shrug your shoulders from here. So we've got 10 together. All right, palm facing away. Bring it all the way up so that your hands are next to your ear. And shrug it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one. Beautiful. Well done. All righty, there is your conditioning done. Alrighty, let's get into our Juliet spin tutorial. Now for our Juliet spin, you can do it both on spin and static, but I shall show you spin first and then we'll go into static after this. This is what a Juliet spin looks like. Alrighty, now let's break down the Juliet spin on a spin fall. Now with our Juliet spin, we are going to start on in front of the pole, bum facing the pole. Now from here, your inside hand, let's just start off with our right hand. So right hand comes up, palm facing away from you. And then from there, you're going to grab the pole just behind you. So when you're grabbing the pole, making sure that palm facing away and then grab the pole. This is your twisty grip. Now, if you haven't done the twisty grip before, I do highly recommend you to try the backspin tutorial first and then try this Juliet spin after. Now from here, outside hand goes behind your bum 
If you have a watch or maybe an imaginary watch, your face of your watch should be facing towards your bum. So tucking your elbow in and then imaginary watch on your bum. All right, now from here, you're gonna come onto your toes. You're going to swing your inside leg, so the same leg as your top hand, that's in your twisty grip, forward. And then you're gonna kick it back, keeping your bum on the same side of the pole as your top hand. And then you're gonna hook your outside knee onto the pole. Now, if you're feeling a bit um, disoriented, then you can just try this from a hook position first. So top hand, in a twisty grip, bottom hand, pistol grip. Again, make sure you keep your bum on the same side of the pole as your top hand. So the side of your thigh should be on the pole and then you're gonna hook your knee up. Now from here, you're gonna push yourself a little bit into a uh, Juliet spin. And then once you're feeling comfortable, then you can take your bottom hand off and then stepping down. There you go. Now, once you feel confident with starting from the floor, then you can try kicking up. But again, when you're kicking, make sure that you kick with your inside hand, so same hand as your top hand, same leg as your top hand. Once you swing it back, keeping your bum on the same side of the pole as your top hand, and then keeping your shelf on the pole. So if you don't know what a shelf is, it's this squishiest part. The shelf should be on the pole, extra grip here and then hooking your knee, looking over your bottom hand shoulder and that's gonna help you with the direction. All right, so coming in position, swinging your inside leg forward, kick it back and then hook your knee. And then once you're feeling comfortable, taking that bottom hand off. To come out, grab the pole back, stepping down with your inside and then outside. Well done. Alrighty, let's try it on the other side. So again, you can start off with hooking your inside, uh, outside knee pit onto the pole first, or if you're confident, you can swing your leg forward. So I'm just gonna do the swinging leg, swinging your leg around, hook, and taking your hand off if you can, grab the pole back, step out, and coming out. Well done. There is your Juliet spin on a spinning pole. Now, let's try our Juliet spin on a static pole. Now, if we're going to do this on static, then you are going to have to swing your leg all the way around and use your leg as momentum to swing yourself around the pole. So, we're gonna come back into the same position, so into your twisty grip position. Now, from here, you're gonna swing your inside leg forward and then you're gonna shoot it back as you hook straight away and then you're gonna step out. So, um, with static, again, you're gonna have to use a lot of momentum with your outside leg. So think about shooting your, your leg all the way around. So shoot it all the way back, uh, so all the way forward, swing it all the way around, kick, and then you're gonna step down, and then coming up. Beautiful. Good, let's try that on the other side. So once you do about like one or two spins, then remember you wanna step out with that leg that you swung back and then coming out with your other leg that was hooked. So whichever leg that was straight steps down and then your hook leg comes down. All right, so you're gonna come into your twisty grip position again on your other side, swing your leg all the way around, forward, kick it back, shoot. Good, and then step, step and up. Well done. So there is your Juliet spin on a static pole. All right, now let's go through some tips and common mistakes. Common mistake number one is your bum position. Now, this is a really common one when we're doing our Juliet spin or even our back spin. Again, if you haven't done the back spin tutorial, make sure you watch that one. It'll be very helpful with your Juliet spin. Now, when you're coming into your Juliet spin, again, you always wanna make sure that your bum is on the same side of the pole as your top hand. So, if your right hand is on the pole, that means your bum has to come onto the right side of the pole as well. If your left hand is on the pole, the left bum comes all the way, the bump comes onto the left side of the pole. So most commonly, if you feel like um, you're, you're in the wrong position, it might be because your bum, uh, your bum is 
very centered or it might be on the other side of the pole and if your bum is on the other side of the pole there's no way you can hook your knee properly onto the pole so making sure that your shelf and your hip is attached to the pole so that you can hook your knee straight away into your Juliet spin now other thing is your hand placement so in terms of your hand placement with your twisty grip you just always want to make sure that when you're grabbing the pole that your palm facing away from you and all you're doing is you're just looking up or looking over that same shoulder and then you just grab the pole so that so that you're grabbing the pole in your twisty grip now this twisty grip it is very very compromising in your shoulder so make sure that you keep your shoulder engaged and when I mean by engage um, you don't want to make you don't want to hang in your shoulder like this so think about pulling the pole sort of down and then keep keep pulling it nice and firm rather than just sort of uh, hanging like this now with your bottom hand uh, pistol grip you want to make sure that you push with your bottom hand and pull in your top hand so you're always using this push and pull motion with your hands with pole dancing especially with your hands now when you are coming into your position make sure that you swing your leg same leg as your top hand forward and think about shooting it back so you always want to use this sort of motion where you angle your leg forward and then shoot it back once you shoot your leg backwards that leg stays exactly where it is so you're trying to swing your leg forward and then kick and then glue that leg exactly there and you should be able to hold your Juliet spin very nicely now other thing is making sure that once you get into position looking over your shoulder now if you feel like uh, you're not getting in the right position or if you keep your head still then it's not going to look as nice so make sure that you look over that same shoulder as your bottom hand or maybe you can look up as well I just prefer looking over the shoulder I think the lines just look better than looking forward so rather than just looking forward like this look over your shoulder and it's going to help you with um, your lines now, if you feel like you're not having enough grip, then it might be because you're not kicking your ankle up enough. So really think about the engagement in your knee, especially the hook knee, this knee. So you're trying to really hook your knee pit onto the pole, and then you're trying to kick your ankle all the way up towards your bum as much as possible. So when you're in this position, make sure that you're not sitting your bum down like this. You are thrusting your hip all the way forward, and then you're kicking your ankle to your bum. And that should help you a lot with your grip. So the grip point for this one should be all the way up from your bum, all the way down, and then into your knee pit, and then the back of your knee. So that's all the grip. And then that's gonna help you a lot with your grip. Now, other thing, it, even if you've done that and all that exhausts, no grip, then make sure that you have grip on the back of your knees and also your, the back of your thighs. Again, you, you need all that grip from your bum to your knee pit. So if there's any material interfering with your legs, then make sure you tuck your leg, uh, tuck your pants or whatever you're wearing all the way up, up until this line here. And that's gonna help you a lot with your grip. Now, I always use shaving foam because I have dry skin. So if you need some shaving foam, make sure you invest into shaving foam. Or if you need any sort of um, pole grip, then do a bit of research. There's a few grips that help for dry skin and uh, sweaty skin and also invest into some hand grip as well if your hand is sliding down. I usually just wipe uh, my hands or just wash my hands with soap and then reapply a bit of uh, sort of drying agent or I should say liquid chalk for my hands. And those were all the tips and common mistakes I wanted to go through. Alright before I let you go a little mindset tip for you today. In my opinion, challenges are what makes life meaningful and interesting. Now sometimes we might find ourselves hitting a wall and we might feel inadequate about ourselves and that might make us feel very terrible. Now if I feel that for a split second, I always make sure that I reassess the situation and make myself think, okay, if 
I'm hitting a wall, that means it is challenging for me and challenge is always going to be a good thing for me because it is meaningful and it makes me grow as a better person. So if you're finding any of the trick tutorials tricky, then remember that it's very good that you finally get a challenge because without challenges in life, it is going to be very, very boring. You don't want to be able to do everything so easily to the point where nothing is easy and nothing is challenging. So enjoy these little moments that you're finding it a challenge and find that growth in you that's going to help you become a better person or even as a pole dancer. Thank you so much for joining me in the Juliet Spin Tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the very next tutorial. Bye! <laughs> How I literally forgot what tutorial was. Oh, jeez, that's so attractive.